Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha by Omega and Ukraine. So in the last episode we started the session and we've done a couple of things. First of all we started um, heavily influencing the <laughs> state of Libya, though I'm not sure if that is going to go our way. We pretty much managed to end where we were before and I don't think there's any other way how we can pressure them at this point. So we'll see if we can figure out something up. But what I'm interested in, one thing, one thing that would be generally great for us would be if Russia collapsed. That would allow me to strike them and win a war against them without any trouble. So I want to see if that is likely to happen. Right now, Russia has such an insane depth. I don't even know how to pronounce that. That would be 16 trillion? 16 trillion 475 billion in debt. So 16 and a half trillion dollars in debt. And their current interest rate is 9.2%. So let's uh, look at this number now. And let's look at it either at the end of this episode or the start of the next one. If this interest rate is rising, because I believe it might be. If it's not, then it means that they are actually increasing their industrial capacity faster than uh, the debt is rising. So, uh, well, that would not be good news for us, but whatever. And one thing that we need to do is save our poor fella who has been caught in Australia. So hopefully this... Uh, yeah, this intelligence network is growing so we don't really unfortunately have anyone else that can take over intelligence network in Moscow because uh, the sister of the sister he is now spreading our intelligence network in Libya meaning we will eventually be able to boost the ideology here I guess it's based on the strength of uh, their infiltration. Now I don't think there's much here that we can actually, we could continue boosting the military department, but that seems really dumb. I don't really see that much of an advantage. And I don't think there's anything here that we would... Okay, but this is a, this is a good one. Hidden listening devices, that should increase the effect of intel... or the amount of gained intelligence or the effect of our infiltration on intelligence by 15%. So that could be pretty good. Suicide spill. Propaganda mission. Yeah, that, that could also be good. Interrogation techniques, black operations, overseas recruitment. Uh, I'm not sure what the amount of uh, agents is based on. Uh, maximum number of spies is 10. Usually it's based on the amount of... Doo -doo -doo, on the amount of technologies that you research. So we'll see if that is the case. As far as motor goes, we have uh, reformed most of the second... Actually, fourth army. So this is second, and this is the fourth army to Samochodny Artvriski Polk from the regular artillery. And it seems like they received their equipment. Though I'm not happy with the armored person now. Oh, okay. Well, it's not such a big deal. I think it's relatively good. Their skills are now much better the combat stats and their base stats nameless speed is much much faster which is awesome speed is gonna be of utmost essence for us so now what are we gonna do with the precordinis again so uh, we could switch these guys into a number of things uh, we could switch them to Hirsku Sturmova Brihada but that would mean we get into a huge issue of the APCs or we could switch them into mechanized brigades. So that means heavy mechanized. 
And we actually have enough infantry fighting vehicles and we have enough main battle tanks. So that seems like a better option. What are the IFVs that we have in store? Jesus, these are the old ones. I mean, river old ones. BMP ones, even the BMP ones, defense six. Compared to what, 40, 40 now? Defense, or is it 21? Okay, <laughs> but it's the, uh, the piercing is 51 and the armor is 30. And these horrifying things have piercing 22 and armor of five. Those are basically caskets on the wheels at this point in the game. So that is not great idea. Though again, I, I mean, they, they would be upgraded immediately. And we could focus on production of new units then. Hmm. What else is there? Brehada is not a feasible option. Tankova Brehada. Main battle tanks, infantry fighting vehicles. Okay, actually tank battalions might be a good thing, wouldn't they? Let's spend a bit of our influence here. Uh, how are we doing on tanks? Tanks might actually be, be a good way to go. We got thousand of the T-84s. So I wasn't actually envisioning having tanks, but why not? I mean, what's the speed of the tank division? 17, okay, that's a relative, but that's because of you, isn't it? No, no, it's not. It's because of you. Ah. Well, okay, so if we switch to you for artillery, I need something that boosts breakthrough. Armor the recon. I haven't recognized Recon or a tank company. Sure, adding a tank company into our tank battalion seems like a great thing to do. Okay, so let's go with Armored Recon here. That's going to ask us for Recon tanks. Okay, 56 in total. And let's switch you out for something like motorized recon? Oh uh, no. No, artillery? Nope. Okay, I have a mechanized recon. So like this. Time will have a lot of recon units on this one. But let's do it. And then this means that if we switch the four of you now into tank divisions. Yep, this is gonna work fairly fine. Okay, so we'll have tank brigades here. Not exactly what I was expecting, but uh, I mean, it works fine by me. Okay, and what we need to do here is we need to start putting you guys back where you belong you're not belonging here you're belonging here okay and the four of you are completely useless because we wanted to change you <laughs> and i forgot about that okay so let's um, actually change you to brehada operative noho priznashenia that's gonna murder us as far as utility vehicles go but I mean, what can we do? We want them. And you will keep drawing. And I saw a couple of units here that could get some benefits from drawing further. And then the next um, phase will be to actually start sending the units that we need 
to where they belong and start formalizing the army distribution in preparation for the attack. Or defense, you know, we still don't know what's gonna happen. But uh, either is possible. And I think we finished the mining, haven't we? Yeah, look at that. So we can expand our operation. 20% chance to add production in over Dnipro. Oh wow, sell mining equipment. Okay, Lebanon declared war on Hezbollah. Okay, pull a large asteroid into the orbit. Pull a moderately sized asteroid into the orbit. Pull a small asteroid. So I guess we can just expand our operation. Asteroid mining rate was one. Um, okay, let's expand our operation and let's check what's going on in Lebanon. Uh, so here is Hezbollah and here is Lebanon. Hezbollah doesn't have much of a chance here, do they? It's kind of funny, Hezbollah is led by a liberal Western government, while Lebanon is led by non aligned outlook. That's kinda kinda not how it is in real world. I wish I could send intervention forces because in if Hezbollah was actually looking like this, I would help them. I would support them. But they're not, are they? Nope. Okay, let's face industrial complexes, check what our production is like. Okay, fuel factories, yeah, our daily gain is now 24k. So we're sitting at nearly a million fuel, 850k. And we're gonna boost that further. Russia, no, just take that away. Okay, and how are we doing on the factories? Okay, we started producing the recon tanks. That's good Which means that we are desperate for precious minerals. So let's increase the income from here and The fact that we are short on the white metals is just bugging me Technology metals um, Okay, wait 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 United States and Italy Okay, and how are we doing in Australia? Okay, 45, can we now save our... Yes, okay, execute when ready. And we're gonna send... Which sister is here? EU to do this. So prepare. Okay, we'll save the poor guy. Uh, let's repay the money. And see if we can do more in here. Yep, that is not going well. Sudan and Tunisia are just dumping in influence like crazy. That's not gonna happen, we're never going to puppet them. It's kinda sad, again, I would be hoping that there is something that you can do here to facilitate the amount of influence that you have there and get them under your... Oh, Slovenia left EU. Goodbye. Cabo Verde has influence in Transnistria. Dang. That is rough. That is rough. Actually, Belarus, uh, I wanted to check, they have a independence guaranteed by Russia, but they do not have anything to do with Russia. No alliance or anything, no union or so. so hmm. Yeah, look at that, the debt is currently dropping for Russia. That's That's not good. They're actually just going insane with the production. Anything new with the army? No. They can't seem... 
are relatively the same. So that's looking like um, they're not really boosting their army while we are. We're nearly at 600k. So we might have something like 40% on them now. That is good. Trains will be just murdered <laughs> during the war. And speaking of the devil, our access has just been revoked. So let's put three more factories in utility vehicles. Because that's something that we will need. So you guys are... Wow, you guys are... Actually already done. Uh, nope, not there. Nope, not here either. I need to reform reform the army completely. We need to split our units. Iran declared war on Syria. Holy hell. So, wait, how, how is Iran going to attack Syria? They're going to make like a land... Um, landing or something? Naval invasion? I'm a bit confused about that. Okay, this is going in progress. When will you guys be ready? 93%. So let's, um, let's get you guys out of this unit. Assign you somewhere and then we'll, then we'll really have to see what our ideal organization of units would be. Okay, we're upgrading more battle tanks. Uh, we're upgrading the APCs. We are upgrading the IFVs. Weapons and aircraft. Okay, artillery is being upgraded. That is good because we needed that. Eventually, we would actually need to get more utility vehicles and we would need to do more both more utility and more artillery so the fact that we have artillery is good because i really like it if we had a number of fast moving utility vehicle units meaning the well it's not called motopichotna regal it's the uh brigade operative no whole uh hidden listening devices done so can we continue on that where was that here uh, but we'll see once our units are finished and drilling here. I'm gonna actually completely reform the army and we'll do some changes into the command structure accordingly. Because it is going to be super important for us to know what we are dealing with here. But I think we are done with... Yeah, all of our units. All of our units are motorized with the exception of the special forces here which actually reminds me why are we not training those i mean wait why are you guys missing command equipment okay so let's let's go with two at first defense breakthrough they will have huge bonuses to defending and attacking everywhere. Forests, hills, in urban. Marshes, forts, rivers. Where is the mountains? They have almost no penalties in mountains. So uh, You guys are screwing them over. That is not good. But that's, yeah, with the extra units, we will definitely jump over uh, over 600,000 in the field. And we will need more command equipment. <laughs> Never occurred to me. Once we start getting into ridiculous numbers in certain areas, I can take some stuff away from... 
certain places but so far it seems like we need everything and i really want to keep these up because uh, they die like flies in combat so having enough of these would be a good thing actually i could even consider making some special units just like um <laughs> just like pure anti-air how would that look like uh, do we have the anti-air here? It's not infantry, right? No, so it has to be here under armored. Why don't I... Oh, here it is. Uh, wait. Back. Self-propelled anti-air. So something like this. Air attack 48. This would be like an attachment to our units an artillery piece and more self-propelled I don't know if this this would even work <laughs> like adding this to your armies could effectively in, in combat you know it could maybe help against some attacks I'm not sure if that would that would work corrected but um, it could be fun I'll have to give it a give it a night, you know, a thought. So we finished the first upgrade into the helicopters. Here we have the Mil Mi 17 hip. Very famous uh very famous helicopter. Oh, at least in Eastern Europe. These were really good. So May 26 Halo. And how did this influence our units? I think it did. Dramatically, okay. Because we need to keep those in mind. We'll actually recruit a couple more of those as we go. Utility vehicles, yep. And those are things that we will need to deal with. Civilian factories, civilian factories, more military. Have we finished the military factory now? Nope. Nope, we didn't. What we did recently, it was the last one that went into artillery. How's our trade going? Uh, pretty good. Still in progress. 7th of February. That's a long operation. Infiltrate civilian administration. What would that do? You need to check the effects in this mod. Infiltrate civilian administration. Uh, Steal industrial blueprints or increase corruption. Infiltrate army, infiltrate navy. You would need two agents. You will need to collect four units of civilian industries for five, 15 days. Mm, not that interested. He still can't throw really a boost the ideology here. Maybe we just can't. Huh? Our influence jumped back to 51. Okay, let's just... I mean, let's, we don't really have any need for that influence, so let's keep dumping it there. Eventually we might see something happening. Okay, Hezbollah is still fighting. And they seem to be holding their own. I really wish we could help them, but I don't want to send them any weapons. I mean, uh, intervention would be nice. Can we switch to the last tier? Wait, global interventionism, neo imperialism. Yeah, that requires autocratic ruling party, which we don't have. So we are stuck with the thing that we have. Okay, uh, some Kuni activities. What's no, let's check you. It's a special unit. Okay, I think that the special forces speed limit is actually eight, isn't it? Yep, so they're moving at their fastest speed. Entire on a tank battalion. Very good. 
You guys are good as well. Gersko Sturmová Brihada, we upgraded. Samochodný artilleryský polk, we upgraded. Uh, anything else? The Sartno Sturmová Brihada, we don't need that. Okay, and these guys, we just investigated and Krimejskaya Brihada. That is one thing that... Okay, their max speed increased. So that is something that the helicopters are going to boost massively. So if we can build a couple of these, and if their speed keeps increasing, 45, 50, 55, 60, okay. So these are going to be basically the motopechotna brihada or the brihada operativného priznašenia, but unstoppable. So those could be the rapid moving units that could take the railways that we need. I can imagine that happening pretty pretty well. Okay, let's keep let's keep going and see. Syria declared war on no reverend Cyprus. What the hell is happening here? Fascistic <laughs> Oh my god, they captured my second operative. Damn, my entire... Yeah, they were captured in Libya. Okay, 7th of February. Let's see if we can save save her sister and then, then we're gonna be done. <laughs> That's insane. But Jesus, Syria has become fascistic. And they just keep attacking everyone. They attack Northern Cyprus. Iran declared war on them. What's going on, guys? Are you okay? Ally Azerbaijan. They have their own... And they approached Russia, the Tartarus naval base. Okay. Meet the king. Meet Fatah. Denounce the other. They're not going with... They're probably gonna harbor extremists at this rate. Uh, Syria, you're making it all fun again. Syria declared war on Cyprus then. Cool, so now NATO will get involved probably. So we got the last level of encryption and we can go with 5G or... I guess we need the modern deep learning. And it's going to... Be our next technology. 605 days is insane. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that is just insane. But do we get any more information on you after that decryption is done? We had 31%. So, come on, will you change that? But the good news is that we can see that their arm is not increasing at all. Okay, and we saved our operative. So you are now going to have to go to AAA and mount an intelligence... what? Okay, now you can prepare this and he is going to save her. And we'll continue building up the... Uh, situation here and that means we have no one though working on improving the relations with Australia and that is boarding well for us. Great. Well, never mind then. Anyway, no more news on Russia, but yeah, I'm pretty certain their army is not increasing. So while our is just boosting and we're training new units and uh, enlarging our army and preparing for war, they aren't, which is good, you know. It means that eventually we can, if we decide so, declare war and destroy them. And if we can strike them, do we see anything? Nope, we don't. But yeah, like this, this is a big division. If we could, right from the bat, just encircle these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight divisions, considering they might have something like 60, we could even take out say 10% of their army right off the bat 
So that would be pretty good. But, you know, again, when the Russian machine starts chugging, we better be... Damn, that was supposed to be dramatic, but didn't work out. When the Russian machine properly starts chugging, we better be all the way around here. This should all be Ukraine. Or we are doomed. <laughs> we are doomed. But other than that, you know, it will be day-to-day -day fighting. Like, if we if we perform especially well on the battlefield, we will be fine. If we don't, then we are screwed. And okay, next part. Next part, we are going to do the military reform. I'm gonna just disband all of these armies and we are going to try to figure out some way we could organize our units in a way that would be good, that would work well, that would be useful and that we can stick with because right now we have too many weird weird areas, weird compositions and we need to really make sure that we have some idea of what we're gonna do. Okay, so anyway, join me next time for more Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Ukraine.